What is up everybody and welcome to our brand new vlog and I gotta tell you one thing Ooh, I'm wrecked and now we gotta get some gas blocks inside the apartment we gotta get there quick because the car is already driving towards the apartment so we gotta be quick in this one my gas blocks have arrived and now I am waiting for the forklift so that uh, we could load it up inside the parking and from there bring all the stuff up. Well, the forklift has arrived to get all the gas blocks. See, look at the amount of them for the walls. And uh, we've got the guys who are gonna be lifting all that stuff up. So it's gonna be quite interesting. I wonder how quick it's all gonna be done. Хороший вопрос. Сейчас придумаем. Я думаю то, что пока в газе. And we have a few blocks that are not in the pallets. So we got one pallet to just put all the stuff in and get it over in the parking lot to the elevator. Calling an elevator right now. Somebody's probably using it or something, I don't know. Well, I got up and the guys who are unloading, they disappeared from the elevator and it's gone somewhere. I'm guessing somebody called them up or something, I don't know. Well, the blocks are finally being brought up to the apartment. Could you imagine this? This is the future walls of my apartment. Flipping crazy, isn't it? I'm excited to start doing this. You see this lad over here putting everything right there. Well, I'm off to the shop to get the guys who are unloading a bit of water, maybe a snack or something because they're doing a heavy job. It's like two and a half tons of concrete. They're kind of like blocks, but they're not blocks. They're gas blocks. And a lot of people were asking, what is the difference? The difference is in gas blocks, there's like air in it. That is why it's called gas blocks, basically. So yeah, let's get them a bit of water and something. Well, got the lads a bit of water and uh, there's one more pallet left so that was really quick they're doing a very quick job now i'm in the underground parking where the forklift has brought in the flip in blocks i'm gonna walk around look at this hyundai over here it looks very nice anyways i'm wondering where could i put the pallets so nobody would scream at me but it looks like there's a bunch of pallets right there which means we could probably put them there and somebody could use them the amount of blocks here are unbelievable look at it this is all gonna be walls and finally we're doing the final part which is very very good well we're finished time to drop off the boys and get going with the day now I gotta figure out who's gonna be building up the walls well came back to the room now it's time to edit yesterday's vlog because i was a bit too drunk yesterday to do anything except sleep so right now i'm gonna edit the video and then we'll see where the day takes us i still have not had breakfast yet and it is already 12 15. oh i could die from starvation at this point i think but first gotta do a bit of work and edit the video well didn't finish editing but had some food finally feeling a bit better had a very very you know good soup which made me feel so much better now we gotta go over to the market where i bought the blocks because apparently there's a guy who knows how to lay them so we better make ourselves a deal and be on top of the situation 
see what price we get. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I came over to the house after I wanted to speak to the guy, but he was busy at work, so he wasn't there. And I passed out at home. So, woke up, it is 9.42 p.m. right now, and we are driving to a Russian house party inside of an apartment. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. But today I'm definitely not drinking because I'm driving and I do not have anybody who has license with me who's gonna be able to drive me back home. So we are gonna be taking in sportsman activities inside of a house party. So let's check it out. Guys, tell me in the comment section below, have you ever seen a flipping house party? And also there's been a lot of comments about putting on a seat belt in the Lada. Guys, trust me, in a Lada, you'd rather fly out of the windshield than stay inside that car. God forbid a crash occurs. So yeah, in the Escalade, I buckle up. And I started buckling up even more since I started this YouTube channel because everybody's like, are you stupid? And I was like, I guess I am stupid. So I make myself and Evelina buckle up inside the car. Well, we're coming over. Got a watermelon just in case if people need a bit of watermelon inside of them. And let's see what's going inside. You probably have not seen many Russian apartments, have you? Hopefully nobody's gonna be like, get out of my house, no filming is allowed here. No elevator in the Soviet apartment block. So guys, there's an elevator like in Turkey on the second floor for some reason, like in their first apartment. And uh, yeah, it doesn't work. And it's a Soviet looking apartment as well. Well, I don't know what is up with my hair right now, but we're in a typical Soviet apartment right here with my friend Jesus. And my friend Jesus right here. He's gonna be cooking a mojito without alcohol. <laughs> this guy is an IT specialist. He must comment in English. <laughs> Typical Soviet apartment. And we also have our friend right here that we made friends in Turkey. <laughs> he loves being in the vlog. Now let's see what's going on here. A review of the house. We've got a toilet right here. Very nice and clean. Look at it. Well guys, I'm back home. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below what do you think about this video and if you're rating about it because whew, it was one heck of a day if you ask me. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow guys.